If you're in crypto, you already know it's Bull Run November. It's time for you to cash in on that crypto cash. Part of privacy is being able to make money, and it's being able to make money on your own terms, your own way, from any place in the world. People always ask me, Cody, what is the best way to make money? You start a business, you make money, and you invest that money. You start a business, and you invest. Business, take some of the profits, and invest. You invest in yourself, you obviously reinvest in the business, and as you start making profits, you invest and other assets. What are the best assets right now? In my opinion, real estate and crypto, but crypto by far, because we're kind of at the end of the wild, wild west. So now is the time to cash in with a passion right now in Operation Bull Run. You're going to want to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to break down exactly what cryptos I am buying. This is not financial advice. You do whatever you want to do in your business, in your life. But I'm going to break down what I'm doing on my strategy. I recently talked about Shibu Inu about a month ago. And I turned 1,000 into 8,000. And I told you that I was willing to lose that 1,000 because I didn't think I didn't know if Shibu Inu was really going to pump that hard. It pumped hard, and I put a bunch more money in it. And Shibu Inu is just getting started. It is going to go massive. It went from like a $4 billion market cap to a $31 billion, $31 billion billion market cap in less than a month what <laughs> the meme coin season was taking over with things like doge now they got like dog of elon they just listed on crypto.com i just pumped into that there was so much volume they had to limit it right guys the money is out there you start a business and then you invest now don't worry if you feel like you're missing the crypto crypto is kind of the thing now, the way, back in these projects, back in these things. I've done a lot of videos about independent projects. In fact, I will link one up here. I did one about Orchid, which is a decentralized VPN that I highly recommend. I recently did a full breakdown of what you could look at in that project. Great project. And I break down other projects here on the channel. So what should you do? Well, if you're not in business already or you don't have money to invest, you should start a business first before you invest. A lot of people try to make day trading and investing their thing. I would not recommend that if you have some excess money to use. Keep in mind, crypto is one, maybe one tick above gambling. There's a lot of risk involved. For everyone who talks about how they make money in crypto, there's a lot of people lose money in crypto. Keep that in mind. We don't always have bull markets. We also have bear markets. A lot of people were holding the bag for years with Bitcoin and other assets when they plummeted but eventually they went back up. So if you held and didn't sell, you made a lot of money. A lot of people sold, lost a lot of money. So keep that in mind. I want to be very clear that crypto is not magic, okay? Crypto is not magic. Crypto is cool. It's fun. It's exciting because it's decentralized and there's a lot you can do with it, but it's not magic. Next thing people say is, Cody, how do I start a business? A lot of ways you can start a business what I recommend, I got a link down below. The first link down below, I'm actually going to show you exactly how to start a business and what I would recommend to you. Check that out because I get people ask me every day, can you help me start a business? Yeah, I can. And I recently did a video breaking down how I can help you with that process. So check it out. If the link still works, you can actually do it. We're going to actually have to close it down soon because the demand has been out of this world. But check out the first link down below if you want to start a business. Now into the crypto. What crypto do I think is going to blow? Well, Shiba Inu, I'm in to the moon or to the ground. And keep in mind, it can crash, okay? But right now, Shiba Inu is an awesome one. Uh, there's a lot of really good ones out there. And I'm typically more into the project. Shiba Inu was a meme coin first, and now they're building a whole project around it. Not just NFTs, but also they're building a lot of really interesting structure with Shiba Swap with other coins like Leash and Bone. A lot of people say, well, Shiba Inu is just a meme coin. It's actually not anymore. It started as a meme coin, but then it blew up, and now they're adding a lot of functionality, a lot of utility, a lot of really cool features to Shiba Inu. So I would check it out. Don't invest unless you think it's for you, though. Don't just invest willy-nilly, because there's also a chance. There's a chance Shiba Inu could go up a lot, and there's a chance it could go down a lot. Keep that in mind. The other one a lot of people talk about is XRP. I've been talking about XRP for like three years. I've been talking about XRP since long before it was cool. Problem with XRP is I'm not doing anything with XRP until the lawsuit is finished. It got hit with an SEC lawsuit, and you're going to see more cryptocurrencies 
get hit with lawsuits. You've seen Janet Yellen talking about how she wants to attack crypto. She wants to regulate crypto. She wants to make most of these crypto securities, which would basically sue them out of business. They've already threatened to shut down Celsius and other networks. Nexo, they, New York uh, State gave them a 10-day cease and desist. They had to go out of business or move out of New York. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of crazy stuff in crypto, so you really got to be careful. But there's also some big ones that are going to pop off. One that I, I really like is Algorand. You check out Algorand. It has a lot of potential. A lot of people are talking about Cardano, ADA. Potentially, but there's not a lot of projects around it right now. There's not a, as many projects around it as there should be. One that I've been invested in for a while is Quant. So Quant is actually potentially a good one. Another one that I, that's actually recently been going up that I bought a lot of is H bar. So H bar is massive and H bar has a lot of potential. You know, you got these ones like Solana and some of these other ones that are looking at taking on Ethereum. People say, well, Ethereum is going to go to 10 K. Yeah. Or Ethereum is going to take a big kick in the teeth and lose a bunch of market share if they don't fix their problems with the new rollout. So you look at some of these things like H bar Interesting. One of my favorites is VeChain. Being in the e-commerce space for as many years as I have been, the supply chain is interesting. I recommend all of you look at VeChain. Whether or not you invest or not, it's up to you, but it is one of the most undervalued assets there is right now, in my opinion. I own a lot of VeChain. I have pumped some money into that, and I'm willing to hold it for like five years. I'm willing to hold it for as long as possible, but I think in the next five years, VeChain is going to be worth big money. It's going to have a high market cap. It's one of the only cryptos China is behind. And the reason China's behind it is because of the supply chain and the counterfeit. They're trying to reestablish their place in the world through their manufacturing industries because they're getting so much pushback. And when I say China's behind it, I mean they support it. They didn't create it. So don't, don't get it twisted. It's not, a, uh, not necessarily a Chinese rollout. It's not something from the communist China. It's something, it's one of the few cryptocurrencies that China hasn't banned. And China's got like a 1.4 billion population, right? And so there's a lot of investment looking to go in. There's a lot of projects. The way that the supply chain and the e-commerce networks are moving, VeChain is really, really interesting. Something that I recommend all you guys look at. Also, Dogs of Elon. There's <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on about Elon right now. And I'm going to pull up some of these uh, charts right now. Let me pull up my crypto.com charts. I've done videos on privacy-focused ways for crypto. A lot of people ask me, Cody, you use Coinbase? You use uh, crypto? I'm surprised being a privacy guy. Guys, you're going to have an on-ramp and an off-ramp. I keep a lot of crypto on hardware wallets, like I told you. And I have to try all the exchanges because I have clients that use all the exchanges worldwide. My core exchanges are, are uh, you know, let's just call them offshore exchanges, which are the core exchanges I use, obviously. But to bring in money and to play around with these smaller cryptos, absolutely, because the convenience of crypto.com and Coinbase and if you think that the, the on and off ramp from your bank isn't tracking you with the Patriot Act anyway, you're crazy. So it's not about the on and off ramp because I can move from Coinbase and crypto to secure locations and I can move the crypto and vanish it. Basically, just like I can vanish my cards, I can vanish my crypto. And same thing I, I help my clients do every day. So keep that in mind because people say, should I use Coinbase or uh, crypto.com? Absolutely, because they're secure, easy exchanges. Are they tracked? Of course. Do they report to the IRS? They all pretty much do at this point. That's not the thing. The thing's about keeping it on a hardware wallet. But, um, okay, it's it's Dog Elon Mars. Excuse me. So it's, it's actually on Crypto.com right now. It's Dog Elon Mars. It has gone up in the last week 440%. I mean, it's just blowing up. It's interesting how in stocks... If I were to talk to you a couple of years ago about a stock that went up 15%, people would be all over it. A stock that went up 50%, it would be like an anomaly. The crypto market, we see these things on a daily basis if you pick the right one. But keep in mind, it does come down to picking the right one. Another one that I've been, I've been really pushing for a while is the Sandbox. So it's Sand, S-A-N-D. And now that Facebook did their whole metaverse weird, creepy thing with Mark Zucker billions, that one's been pumping a lot. I got in at like 40 cents, I think. It's like over $2 now. It's crazy. Uh, and then another one I've been bullish on for a while is Psycoin. It's been around for a long time. It's finally starting to get its due, which is pretty cool. So Psycoin, and it's still super cheap, but it's got a lot of upside potential. I'm opening a couple of my exchanges right now. 
Uh, but Quant, Quant is a big one. QNT, been investing for them. I started investing in Quant when they were like thirty dollars. They're like three hundred or about two eighty at the time I'm making this video. Talked about Cardano, Algorand. Another one I'm really bullish on is Amp, AMP. I own a mountain of that. It's still really affordable right now, but the the upside. And again, you look at the upside for these projects. These are ones I'm looking at. One that recently has been doing really good. It's up a lot this last week is Anchor. Anchor is a really good one. The last week it's up 30% just in the last seven days. It's uh, A-N-K-R, Anchor, is, is a pretty good one. I talked about Orchid. Uh, another one that I'm pretty bullish on is, well, this is one that, that I think is really interesting and it's something that you guys should potentially look at, and that's the Secret Network. Uh, there's a lot there, and... You know, it's it's still massively undervalued. Circulating supply is 150 million. Market cap 1.3 billion. I got in a while ago. It was 224 a month ago. It's almost nine dollars now. A year ago, it was 26 cents. So that just goes to show you the the rapid growth in some of these things. The other one people ask me is, am I still involved in uh, privacy coins like Pirate Chain? A R R R. Absolutely. And Monero, absolutely. Now, there is a concerted effort to make Pirate Chain and Monero illegal. To my knowledge, currently they are not illegal, but that is causing an issue because the FBI and the federal government has launched a full-scale attack on Monero specifically. A little bit on Pirate Chain, but predominantly they're trying to crush privacy coins. They don't want you to have any privacy in the financial sector, which is very unfortunate. But I think the future of Monero hopefully is bright. The future of Pirate Chain hopefully is bright. And those are another two that I've kind of played around with. And those are another two that I personally really, really like. So let me know down below which ones you are thinking. What coins do you think are going to pop over this next two months? Q4 is massive for everything, not just e-commerce projects, not just real estate, not just crypto, not just small business, not just big business, not just basically anything, Q4 is massive. And we're looking at a big bull run today. I wanted to have this video go up on November 1st for the start of the supposed bull run. Will it be a bull run? Well, crypto has been looking pretty bullish for a little while now, and we're hoping to see some other big numbers out of crypto. So appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, putting out new videos all the time here at Privacy X Project. I really appreciate your guys' support we have our platform, privacyx.org, getting ready to launch in about a month, a little over a month. The privacyx.org platform is going to launch. It is going to be a very, very interactive platform for the privacy community. There's going to be a lot of training. There's going to be a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. There's going to be a lot of breakdowns and tutorials of things that will help you get going in privacy as opposed to YouTube, which is just a scrolling feed of random videos or Odyssey or you know, any, any of these other platforms. So appreciate you guys checking this out. Give it a thumbs up, like, and check back often because I know my videos don't really get pushed out very much because YouTube hates privacy content. They hate content about, you know, patriotism and freedom. They like to have you really locked in to this new socialist society, their dream. So make sure you check back often. Appreciate you guys checking out. Check out the first link down below if you want to learn how to start a business and I will see you guys in the next video.